Here we have the 29 litter males, 29.4 and 29.5 pedigree on these 29s. Better yet, on never before. Yep, uh, so the, the sow would be a never before kiss my socks, actually. Uh, uh, that This would be her second litter. Her guilt litter this summer, uh, she would have actually had our barrel at perfect timing that won the barrel battle uh, that went on the sell for 22000 and, and find a great home. That barrel looks uh, extremely good. Uh, the, the Honestly, the five gilts in that litter, uh, there was never much discussion. They all stayed here and uh, <laughs> uh, are in the gilt barn. So this will be her, uh, I guess, uh, first kind of springtime litter. Uh, just two males, and there's going to be some gilts rolling in. Uh, uh, the one here closest that Abby's trying to get on the sticks is going to be the dash five male. Um, our, our better yet hogs here have been good. And uh, this one in terms of just spread density, muscle, bulk, and body, uh, uh, certainly uh, if you like those things, you gravitate towards this one pretty well. He's still got a neat look up front. And, uh, you know, honestly, we talked, this pen has not uh, truthfully been on chips and in the show barn very long. And uh, if you guys know uh, what baby pigs that haven't been off decks long enough look like, uh, I think uh, he, he resembles that. He's still uh, still figuring out uh, uh, how to motor and go. But I think uh, you read that one. He has a lot of just intriguing pieces that uh, barrel guys can tie into yeah it looks like one that uh, like you said the the people who like to, to feed on show barrows this is one that those pieces that the, you hear him talk about he is long fronted attractive uh, still got plenty of shape and center body um, I think a big show window too on on a barrel like this and obviously uh, love the pedigree and know what the sow's done in her short career already and I'm sure uh, uh, best is yet to come on, uh, on to hear from her, too. So, again, that was uh, the Dash 5. Here's Dash 4. Yep, 29.4 uh, is one uh, I know we had a lot of uh, Barrow guys through yesterday, and this one uh, uh, this one was out of his pen a whole bunch. He, uh, <laughs> honestly, he chased the stick around in the pen yesterday. Maybe he's just tired of it, but uh, I think that one, kind of the ones we've talked uh, that I gravitate towards, that's a tall-shouldered, long-necked one that uh, uh, is big in his form. He's square in his build, and, and honestly, I, I think this one when he goes away from you is where you can get excited about him because he's square but then uh, he's kind of got one of those rear leg bone sizes where he looks like he's good boned on the side and when you get him behind mm -hmm. him his rear legs bigger when you get him behind him than uh than than you initially think it is uh, he's square he's good built he's good pattern and he looks like a bear you can take home put on feed you can feed him hard and i, I think uh this is a very very good state fair barrel prospect yeah, there's some that uh, sometimes I just don't uh, don't need to say much more about because they're just darn good, and I think this is one of them. I think if you come and look at this pig uh, uh, either on Saturday or, or before or whenever you come look at him, you're gonna you're gonna agree. And another one, if if you don't agree, we're just never gonna agree because this is good livestock here. Again, this is 29-4 and 29-5.